Hi everyone, this is RP, and today we are going to calculate portfolio value at risk for multiple stocks. So let's start. So again, we are going to import libraries. And as speed, numpy, copy. Import and from sidebar dot starts. Now, so let's start writing a function directly instead of doing it manually and then convert it into a function because the best or the easiest or the fastest way you can say is to write a function for this so let's do it so portfolio bar and then uh we need our date, we need end date, we need box, we need exposure. Uh, exposure will be the exposure we have in the stocks, and then confidence interval and need dates. So these are the input required in order to calculate portfolio value at risk. I don't know why it's taking a lot of time today to run. No, it's in the meanwhile we can write our function. So stock will be the data frame. And then we can download these doc to web dot data reader. Box comma start is equal to start date. And is equal to end date data source is equal to Yahoo and we need adjusted loading price. Okay, so we are going to calculate the stock return. Which will be equal to stock dot percentage change. Then we're going to calculate volatility of the stocks. Although it's not required, but uh, just we can calculate it here as well. There is no harm in it. So, stock return dot d. Now, here we are going to calculate. Portfolio variance, covariance matrix. Okay, perfect. Okay, so yeah, so what we are going to do is we are going to calculate covariance matrix, and for that, stock covariance is equal to. Uh, 
of the term dot cov which is covariance and i'm going to make an array so for that what i'm gonna do np dot array of covariance matrix so here we have portfolio variance covariance matrix now the next thing uh we are going to in fact for confidence interval i'm going to say ci confidence level is equal to norm dot pbf ci divided by 100 so here we have confidence interval as well and then now we are going to calculate weightages. So for that, what we are going to do is we are going to calculate weights is equal to np dot array exposure divided by sum of exposure. Now next we are going to calculate portfolio volatility okay so there is one more thing which we need to do so we need to convert weightages into matrix form so it's gonna be np dot matrix okay portfolio volatility weight into stock covariance since there's a matrix multiplication so what i'm going to do here is weight dot transpose uh, so in python we use dot t for taking transpose So here we got this. Now we can calculate portfolio bar. So it's gonna be np dot square root of portfolio. This is basically portfolio variance. So instead of writing portfolio volatility, in fact, what we can do is uh, we can write portfolio variance here. And then portfolio bar. So for portfolio bar, we need to take a square root of portfolio. Bar. So it's going to be portfolio bar. So it will be clear there will be no confusion that what we have calculated above. So square root of portfolio volatility uh, portfolio variance into uh, confidence interval or confidence level into np dot sqrt of days. So this is our portfolio bar formula. So the only important thing here is to calculate the portfolio volatility or variance. Let's print the result. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna print a portfolio bar right. So let's run this. So we have portfolio one. Let's copy this and paste it here. So 
the start date we have 1 1 2020 end date we have 12 31st 2020 and then we have talks Apple Facebook and then we have exposure so let's say we have one thousand in Apple and one thousand. 500 in Facebook, we have 99% confidence interval and days will be will be one. Let's run this and check. Oops. What is my last one? Okay. Yes, so let's go. So it cannot be. Nice. So, okay, this is our portfolio var. Now, let me do it in this way. So I'm just going to present it in a proper form. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say one day or 10 day, whatever, or 10 days. What would you for or value at risk at Thirteen percent confidence interval. What we have days here, okay, and then we have confidence interval, comma is you are and i'm going to do it zero zero so it will this basically zero zero which means zero uh, row uh, the first value of row and column will remove these two brackets so that's why i just put this there is so many different way to get rid of this bracket but this is one of the fastest and easiest way so that's why i'm doing it multiply by 100 so let's run this again and we can also do one more thing here so we have one day portfolio bar at 99 percent confidence interval is this uh, we can also do we can also round it to up to two decimal three decimal place and also we can do one more thing here uh, we can print some other information like how much percentage of exposure we have in apple how much percentage of exposure we have uh, in facebook and total position and everything also we can calculate uh in terms of amount so what we can do is i'm just going to copy this and paste it here and instead of multiplying it with 100 i'm going to multiply it with some of so run this perfect uh we can also add more stocks here so it's am and Amazon. Uh, we can also do this for, let's say, Ford. Okay, and then we can add, let's say, 2000, 2000, whatever. And then we're going to do it for five. 
Let's run this. Great. So we can also do one thing here. Uh, we can take the, or we can print basically the total exposure, how much exposure we have. So for that, what I have done, I just simply print and instead of doing this, I'm gonna take some of exposure here. So we also have to change the write-up. Total exposure. Great. So 1,000, 1,500, which is equal to 2,500 plus 4,500 plus 3,000, which is equal to 7,500. So you'll see 7,500 is the total exposure we have and have 12% bar and we got 918 uh, 100 USD at risk. So similarly, you can add the exposure here, how much exposure we have uh, first off, we can also have, uh, we can also print volatility, or if you want to calculate the bar for individual stock, we can also do that. So everything is possible uh, by just adding a one line of code here, or two line depends what you want to basically uh, print. So hope you like the video and hope it is helpful for you. If you have any comment, please, uh, or if you want to ask something, just feel free to put the comment section below and I will definitely try to uh, respond to you ASAP. Thanks for watching this video. And if you really like this video, please like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.